All right, so it says right here, select that and told you that base point. Now we've got a toilet and we can draw this. I wanna show you something different and you can actually use this in your guest cottage. I don't mind a bit, but there are some things that are in AutoCAD that are already drawn for us. So if you go to tools, there's a tool palette. And if you go over here to the blocks palette, I wanna show you this, this is really cool. So if you go to libraries down here, it'll go to block libraries, favorites, recents. So it's showing what you've got already and current drawing. So this is uh, what we will use when we're inserting something. There's another palette that we used to have that is tool palettes. Oh, that went away. Let me see if I can figure it out. Your design center. I guess they got rid of that. There was a really cool palette that brought in all kinds of pre-made blocks. This is design center, but anyway, we're going to draw it and then I'll find it and I'll show it to you guys. Okay, let me see. Um, we're going to draw this toilet. I'm going to draw a rectangle. It's one foot eight and I've got to scroll over here. One foot eight in the X, eight comma six inches deep. Is that true? It's a tiny little thing. All right. So here's something. Uh, we have to space this ellipse off. I'm going to draw a line from the back. You see where that dimension, one foot eight, is coming from the back right here? So I'm going to draw it from the midpoint of the back, and I'm going to make a line one foot eight. Now I'm going to draw an ellipse, E-L. And I'm just going to draw it out here. Now I can do it from the center and do half of that, but I'm going to draw it out here with ortho on. I'm going to push this down one foot eight. Enter. And that's drawing it sideways, isn't it? Nope. That's going to be right. So one foot four is one foot is 12 inches plus four is 16. So this is going to be eight inches one side. This is just an AutoCAD way. It's not my favorite. I'm going to grab this, grab the center point, and move it to the end point. Now I can hit escape to get that off of my selection and delete this. And this is going to be my toilet. So I've got that done. It says make a toilet block. And I want to show you guys something that's kind of cool. Um, let me go back to the input sheet. Well, the toilet usually is going to be centered underneath a window. Have you ever noticed that? So it's centered underneath a window, and that's where we're going to put it. But it should never be touching a wall. If you've ever had to replace a toilet, you know that's a dirty, that is not a very great job. Oh, here's my tool palette way over here. Oh, look at that. So let me close this again, and let's see if it comes back up. Tool palette, just tool palette, okay? Check this out. This is what I was talking about. If you go to architecture, here are doors, windows, all this stuff that I can just drag in. Here's a toilet. All right, well, maybe I want to use this toilet in my, in my um, house. We may use this later. So I'm, this little button right here allows it to auto hide and it'll pop out whenever I hover over it and then go away when I move and I'm going to move this entire tool palette over here and let it be off to the side. All right. So I'm going to make this block. Um, and the thing is that I don't want this toilet to be right up against this wall. You want about two inches. So what I'm going to do is offset this out two inches. It doesn't tell you to do this anywhere, but 
you never ever put the lid of a toilet right against the wall. Okay, so I did that and I'm going to use, this as my base point. I want the midpoint of this, it's two inches away to be my base point and I don't have to select this to be in my block. So I'm gonna make a block and I'm gonna make a toilet floor plan. Select on the screen the base point, I'm sorry. Pick point for the base point, and I'm gonna pick the middle of this two inch offset. When I select my objects, I'm not gonna select that offset. I only want these two. This was only created in there for my location. Hit enter, delete and allow exploding and say okay. And this is not in my block, so I'm gonna delete that out. I thought I was going crazy with that tool palette. All right, so we've got our toilet. What else? We're going to have a ceiling fan. We're going to have luminaires or lights. So we, you kind of want to look at where those are to see where your base point wants to be. Look at your electrical outlets. Now, these can be the feet touching the wall or the round part. does not matter. And one thing that's extremely important is to tell where the ground fault circuit interrupter is. And we'll talk about that in a second. But I have to draw, what's the next thing? Um, move the toilet two inches away from the inside edge of the wall. There you go. So we don't even have to do that. Now we're gonna draw a ceiling fan. It says construct the fan inside a circle of a three foot diameter. So I'm making a three foot diameter here. So I'm going to go with the circle center diameter, three feet. I'm going to draw another circle concentric to that. That's four inches. So hovering over the circle to grab the center, four. Now, this is an interesting part. Um, I'm going to draw a line here that's 80 degrees from zero. So let me just show you what I mean. You see this 80 degree line right here? I want this centered around my north, south, east, and west axes. I do not want it offset. My fan would be way off kilter. So I'm gonna draw a line from the center of this. If I start right here, that's zero. And I'm gonna take off ortho. I don't care how long it goes. You don't have to snop a snap to that circle. Just make it like two feet. Tab. And you can see 80 degrees from that east would be appropriate. Now that I have that, I'm going to trim this back. TR. And instead of drawing another one 20 degrees over, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to mirror it. So where is my mirror? Right here, mirror, M-I. I'm gonna select the midpoint. Make sure you have ortho on so that your fan or blade is balanced. I don't know if you've ever had to do that. That's kind of a pain. Now I'm gonna trim this circle out to get rid of it. Uh-oh, what did I do? It should be on the northern quadrant. So I'm just gonna move these endpoints up to the northern quadrant. The angles are still the same. I'm gonna trim this out. And now I'm gonna make a polar array of this and I'm gonna have five blades in 365 degrees. So AR is array and I can say polar or you can hit this drop down and go to polar. Select the object center, specify the center. And now I want five of these in 360 degrees and just click anywhere. And you can see that that ends up being 72 degrees each way. Now you cannot trim anything with a uh, trim and array. You would have to explode it if you ever wanted to do that. This looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna make this block 
And I'm going to call this a three foot fan floor plan. And this is, it doesn't tell you to do this. I just always make things very descriptive. Uh, the specify the base point, it shows you right here to make that the center. Oh, got it. Why do I keep do that, doing that? Pick point, center, select objects, enter, allow exploding, and say OK. Now we have all those. The last one that we have to create is a light fixture, also called a luminaire. So we are going to draw a circle. with a diameter of six. I'm gonna draw one two inch line and I can make a polar array around that if I want to. So a line from a quadrant, you could draw all four of them. I'm just gonna make a polar array of this. Specify the center. I want four of these. And there it is. Way quicker. And I'm going to make this uh, light fixture or luminaire or light or whatever you want to call it. So block B. Select the pick point. Now, what did it say for the pick point? Um, sometimes we're going to use legs, like the end of the leg. And I'm going to show you real quick. And it's really good to look at this to see where they're going to be attached. So the end of the north leg, same thing here and here. And I could just put this kind of centered. So I'm going to select that end of that northern quadrant leg. Select the objects. Enter. And say OK. Uh-oh. I'm going to call this... Um, light and it's just a symbol for light okay so let's go down see what we have left i think we're going to start another one we got this done uh switches and outlets they're already in here but i want to show you guys something about those 